Alright, it's Josh and Johnny with the firearm convention here. What's up guys? And uh, we're getting ready to do the Bear Creek Arsenal accuracy test. We've decided to break up the accuracy test and the uh, reliability test into two different videos because it would just drag on for forever. So first off, how we're going to do this, we're going to have to compare these to something. So we've got a standard uh, Wasser 10 over here. Well, standard-ish. Um, it's my personal rifle. And basically, it's kind of a, an, an in-between between the ACOG and the, uh, the carry handle. It's, it's just got a standard little primary arms red dot on top of it. So, what we're going to do, we're going to shoot a control group out of each type of ammunition from the AK-47. Then we're going to you know, scroll on over to these Bear Creek Arsenals. And we're going to run a couple rounds, um, three of each round. Which is also chambered in 7.62. Right. All of these are 7.62 by 39s. So we've got a couple different rounds of ammunition today. We've got your standard Wolf 123 grain full metal jackets. You know, just your standard full metal jackets. That's what everybody else is going to be running normally. Then we've got, uh, even though it says tool ammo, this was contracted through SG Ammo to make this ammunition. It's called the 8M3 Effect ammunition. It's got sealed, sealed bullet, sealed primer, and this is a hollow point, but unlike most standard hollow points that you get from the AK-47 ammunition or 762 uh, this actually expands and does really well in expansion. So we're going to test this for accuracy out of all three guns, and then we're going to run Tula's 762 by 39 154 grain soft points. This ammunition is absolutely ridiculously accurate in my CZ 527 and if I had a scope on it we'd have brought it for the accuracy test um, but this ammunition is just absolutely crazy in that gun I'm expecting it to run pretty darn well in all these um, I guess you could say it is going to be a slight reliability test you know because we are going to run all three of them through these two guns all at once so but we're going to do a couple mag dumps a couple things like that run some ammunition through it hard before we actually call them reliable so We've got three three um, dots up there. I'm just going to shoot the 7.62 AK, you know, left to right, you know, um, 123 grain full metal jackets, 124 grain hollow points, 154 soft points. It's boom, boom, boom. Uh, it's all loaded into one magazine, so there's no real stoppages. And then we're going to do the top triangle is going to be the first Bear Creek Arsenal. AR-15, and the bottom triangle is going to be the second one, and uh, about these guns, these were those Bear Creeks that were on sale for $299, should have said that to start off with, they were the $299 Bear Creek Arsenals, uh, so they are the H-bar profile, 1 in 10 twist, uh, just a standard Bear Creek gun. We're going to see what happens. I did, a, I did a review video on them when they first showed up at the house. And, and you know, that's, that doesn't really tell us anything, though. So, Let's do we're it. going to go ahead and burn these up. And as you can see, you know, this one's marked number one, you know, and number two is marked over here. So, we'll look for that, try and keep them, we'll try and keep them straight for you guys. And we'll go from there. So, I guess it's on to the AK-47 to start with. All right. Or the AKM, whatever you want to call it. How many shots are you going to run out of here on each? Three shots out of the AK with each type of ammunition at each one of the dots. We're just going to take our time, shoot these three off, and go from there. And then we'll check it. Yeah, and then we'll check it. All right, guys, you're going to watch them shooting, and then we're going to walk up and we'll show you the groups. Now, we don't care where the bullets hit on the target. As far as this different ammunition, all we care about is that we get three of them together. So we're not looking for one point, we're just looking for groups. Okay, go for it. Okay, that was the 123 full metal jacket. Up next is the 124. 
Eight M three. Now the 154 soft points. And Clear. empty gun. All right, well, here we are. Everything was kind of low. These two started to drift off a little bit, but this, 123, these are the 124, and these are the 154s. All right, so, we're gonna, okay. That's pretty much that's pretty much all you can see with that. Obviously, I need to recite in my AK. I think I had the Ultimac off before, beforehand, but uh, honestly, not not untypical of an AK. This one, it's I mean, it's it looks big, but it's probably about four or five inches. I mean, that's standard AK. So, okay. like I said, this going to be B C A one B C A two. All right. Let's do it. All right. Hopefully, we get some better better results than uh, get some better results than than that. But if not, I mean, it's, if if it's just a standard AK, I mean, it is what it is. All right. So now we got the uh, Bear Creek Arsenal number one with the ACOG on top. Um, I'm going to take three shots. These guns aren't lined in, so they, we've not shot these but twice, just to make sure they go boom. So I'm going to take three shots at this gun, and then I'm going to take take a peek through the Leopold Mark V from Doug, and just see uh, just see if I'm hitting the target where I'm hitting, so I can you know make sure that we're actually going to not waste ammunition. So without further ado, let's drop the bolt on this bad boy. Safe. How are we looking? Yeah, it's shooting way, way high. It's probably huh? like we got one in the group up there with the with the uh, 124 8M3. So it's like a foot and a half high? Yeah. So I'm going to go ahead and... But how's the group look? Oh, uh, group's okay. About the size of a standard AK. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and aim a little a little low. That way we can get them out of the groups for them other, for them other rounds there. I mean, I will say, uh, this trigger is atrocious. <laughs> it's horrible. <laughs> I've, I've had better triggers out of sticks. I mean, just, I've made better triggers out of the little rubber band guns, you know, that you used to get as kids. Way better triggers than this thing. It's two ninety nine. It's, it's, it's horrible. <laughs> All right, now we're on to the 8M3 ammunition. So I'm just going to give her a little... little aim down here so what i'm actually doing is i'm using the bottom target but since i'm running an acog i can actually put the cross hatches for holdover on one of the targets so i've got a good aim point so let's let her rip Did 
You could see how much you're pulling on that trigger. Well, that was the 8M3. Oh, that's much nicer. How are we looking? Oh, that's like really good. That's probably two and a half inches. So that's not bad at all. That's not bad at all. I can come lower though. Aim, I can aim even lower yet. Because we're still way up there in La La Land as far as where we're hitting. But I'm going to use the same aim point. Now these are the 154 uh, soft points. Okay, we got bolt lock on the first one. We're clear? Oh, we're good. We're clear. And well, hot dog, those aren't bad either. Those aren't bad either. That's about the same group as the uh, 8M3. So let's go ahead and walk up and uh, we'll get everything marked down and marked over, up, left, right, and get her all taken care of. All right. So, Bear Creek 1. Alright, so, I looked through, you know, Johnny's Leopold. These two, and one of these, is the 123, full metal jackets. But, these three are the 124 8M3s. So, not too shabby. That's probably, honestly, that's about two inches. That's... Yep. Pretty darn good. And then you have this 154, which that's a little bit smaller than the 124. So, I mean, that's probably an inch and a half. Now, let's compare that to the AK. Uh, 123s honestly are about the same. Uh, 124, definitely a marked improvement. The 154 is definitely a marked improvement. So we're going to move on to the Bear Creek number two with the ACOG. Now all this is with the ACOG. And that's just a fixed four ACOG. You know, nothing fancy. So we're going to move on to Bear Creek number two and see what happens. Let's do it. All right, so here's Bear Creek Arsenal number two. As you can see by our little... Mark, you know, this is the different rifle with the same ACOG. Uh, we're not we're not sighting these ACOGs in, we're just using it for groups on that huge target. So let's go ahead and start with the it's gonna be the same as before, 123 full metal jackets, 124 8M3s, 154 soft points. Hey Amen, let's do it. Well, funny thing, this one's actually serial number twenty thousand, even. You know, so that's spiffy, isn't it? All right, so like I said, same same deal as before. I'm going to go ahead and uh, use the use the uh, you know nice savage that's sitting beside me. You know, oh yes. Uh, set groups. So that's right. give it a shout out. Let's give it a schwack, shall we? Okay, trigger 20,000 sucks just as hard as the other one. <laughs> but and you're checking out 99 bucks. It's a serviceable trigger. And you're checking out the 123s right now, right? Yeah, I'm checking out the 123s. Where are where? Holy crap, they're high too. Um, okay, they're a little high right. When I say high, I mean about two feet. <laughs> so I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to change my aim point though, but. Uh, they are, they are there. So, let's go ahead and, what's that? 
That was me farting, sorry. Oh, Jesus Christ. Sorry, John, sorry guys. What the hell? Oh. Here we are trying to make a video and you're gassing us up. Yeah. Viter, next. Blooper reel. <laughs> So let's go down. Perfect. Okay, that's eight and three. 124s? 124, 8M3. Okay, well, that's kind of neat. Alright, so now we're doing the 154s. Yep, yeah, now we're on to the 154s. Hmm. Hmm. Oh boy. Hmm. One in there. Hmm. Second strike, it fired. So, let's go up and take a look. Okay, looks good. Everything's on paper. Let's go up and take a look. Let's take a peek. Alright, so, bear creek number two. It's shooting just as high as the other gun, but here, right here, is the 123 FMJ. These three are the 124s. And these three, 154s. So, I mean, once again, this may be ammo, you know, cause this one, this one's shooting a pretty, pretty similar group, the AK. Like all three of those shot almost identical groups. Two, well, that one's actually pretty well spaced out, but you know, they shot pretty much identical groups. Um, the 124s in these guns shot very, very similar, and the 154 shot very similar as well. If you were to rotate this group, it's almost identical to that one. So both guns do seem to have that accuracy potential there. Um, you know, they definitely shoot more accurately than the AK-47 that I've got. So, I mean, I'd call them a win. For the price point. For the price, you really can't beat them. Plus a trigger you have to replace. Yeah, but uh, let's get back down to the guns and, and we'll uh, talk them over real quick, I guess. Okay, so I don't know that we're going to do the carry handle, honestly. I think the ACOG did a pretty good job of, of uh, you know, showing what these were going to do. I was going to do a carry handle on both of them. I was going to take these guards off. Um, Honestly, the triggers on both of these are to the point where you're not going to notice the difference between handguards being taken off. You know, you really got to power through that trigger on both these guns. But other than the trigger on both of them, they're not bad guns. We had gun number two, one malfunction, one light primer strike. So we're, I mean, but that's like the 12th round that's been fired out of this rifle. So... That may be a fluke, not sure. So next up, we're gonna do the um, reliability test. We've got two C Products magazines that came with the guns, and we're just gonna go ahead and through. We've not oiled these guns, we've not done anything to them other than pulled them out of the box, put ammunition in them, fired them downrange. So we're just gonna go ahead and run some more ammunition through them. We're gonna run some more 8M3, 
We're going to run some 154s. Um, couple of, couple things I personally would do to them. Honestly, for the price point, I'd just throw in a hyper fire trigger and be done with it. Hyper fire just because the lighter trigger you put in a hyper fire, the harder the, the trigger assembly and the hammer actually hits these rounds, which I think you need with, with this uh, steel case ammunition. So if you wanted to just simply throw a new trigger in this gun and throw a carry handle on it, toss this bad boy in the back of the car, at this point right now, I'd say they'd be all right to do something like that with and not really worry about it. I've seen these for, what, $354 just yesterday. So they went up 50 bucks, but whatever. But anyway, let's get on to the reliability test. Um, this is it for the accuracy test. We're going to break this up into two videos. So anyway, guys, thanks for watching. It's uh, Johnny and Josh from yep. Firearm Convention. Yep, like, give the video a like, add all your friends, and any questions, comments, and, and any of your two cents you want to let us know about the 762 platforms, uh, let us know. Thanks for watching, guys.